was great up at Claypool's with uh, Butter the Dog. Butter, so yeah, cute. So cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monique, you're on the uh, Visit uh, Amador section of TSPN. And That's you're right. here to visit the studio this morning and do some uh, yeah. appetizer preparation. We're going to do three really easy appetizers. Okay. I know we're really, really busy during this time of year. Holidays right. make us a little crazy. And then somebody always says, oh, well, you know, when you come over to this party, can you bring an appetizer? <laughs> So we're gonna do three super easy ones. The first one is your classic shrimp cocktail. Um, But what's unique about this is that we're gonna make our own homemade cocktail sauce. And it's just as super easy as it can get. We're also gonna do goat cheese stuffed pepidou peppers, another easy one. And then we're gonna do a crostantini with um, cream cheese, horseradish, we're gonna do a little roast beef on top. And that just kind of takes care of a little bit of everything. You have your vegetarian, you have shrimp, and you have something with beef on it. Perfect. And we were talking, it's, it's much better to show up with something that's homemade as opposed to something with a, a UPC label. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree. It's nice to make that effort of saying, oh, yeah, I did put it together myself. Okay, let's, okay. let's see what you got. So, really easy here. Shrimp cocktail sauce doesn't get any simpler. It's about a half a cup of ketchup. Okay. I don't usually measure because I'm going to probably, you know, vary it a little bit once I taste it. Okay, and you have here? We have here, this is chili sauce. Okay. Um, You can use chili sauce or you can just go ahead and put in a little bit of Tabasco. I'm just trying to make it easy on myself. Okay. Now comes the spice part, Mm. right? Here's the good part. This is horseradish. (laughs) Okay. And I'm going to say about a tablespoon. That's going to give us the really good popping flavor. A little zing to it. Yeah. And then we're also going to use some lemon. Take half a lemon, give it a good squeeze, and we've got that going. So, Cam, I'm going to have you whip it up for us. Can you do that? Whip it up. Okay, really good. Whip it. Whip it good. And then, the easiest thing ever. This is so simple. I'm almost ashamed to do it, but I think people will enjoy it. What I did is I just took my Cuisinart this morning. I put in about half of a square of um, cream cheese. And then I also put in, oh, I'm going to say about the same amount of goat cheese. One of those pillow packages that you get at the grocery store. Whipped it up, and then I went ahead and put it in a pastry tube. This makes your life so much easier. Yes, you can spoon it in. It takes forever. This is probably $2, you know, at the grocery store. It's not an expensive item. Um, I use the tips that you can reuse because I do cake decorating, but you can also buy the plastic ones you just throw away. And this is really, really simple. Let me grab a plate here. Thank you. So here's an example that I made up this morning, and then I'll fill one for us right here. It's a simple of just giving the tube a squeeze. That's all. Very, very simple. Thank you. And then I like to do a topping because I think everything that has a nice garnish is going to stand out more. Okay. It's also going to give it some texture. Um, you don't have to overfill these pepidou peppers just so you can see the goat cheese. Okay. Um, you don't want it just, you know, you don't want it over um, standing out as far as the cheese goes. And then I took croutons just because that's what I had today in the kitchen. And all I did was put them in this bag. Okay. And I took the rolling pin, right. rolled it over a few times, smashed it up, no mess to clean up. Perfect. Okay, so this is our second appetizer here. Mm-hmm. Okay. How are we, we doing with the shrimp? The camera. Well, the shrimp are here, and I've got the uh, cocktail sauce kind of whisked up a little bit. Okay, really good. So, would you like the shrimp? I would love the shrimp. Thank you. And how about that white plate over there, too? Perfect. Okay. So, with our cocktail sauce, how we're going to make it original and stand out to people is by putting fresh herbs in it. And it gives it texture. So, I'm going to throw in just a tiny bit of chopped rosemary. I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit of dill, and you can just cut it or you can use scissors to cut it, it doesn't matter. And I always love parsley, so I'm just taking small pieces here. I usually use kitchen shears and just cut it right into there. And then a little bit of thyme. We always have the time for that. (laughs) Okay, so mix it up. And if you have me the shell plate, I'll put that on. And it's really that simple. That's all there's to it. I like how you thought I had to use the shell plate for the sauce for yeah, the shrimp. Isn't that kind of nice? Right. 
Um, I this isn't your first uh, your first cooking, I believe. <laughs> no, no, but you know, I like to do things that are simple because we're all really busy around the holidays. Uh, when you prepare an appetizer, people are carrying it around in their hand. They're looking for a place to throw the tails. You find them underneath your coffee table. You find them underneath your couch. So I took the tails off. So right. this is eat it, and then you're done with it. Um, the only thing I'm going to do to kind of dress up the plate and... Obviously, you can use larger platters, but we're just making a small amount for us. Okay. Um, let's see here. There we go. A little more of a garnish here. Yeah, we look want it to look pretty and green. And then, of course, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the rosemary and sprinkle it on top. It looks super fresh. Okay. And then go ahead and set that over there. Okay. Okay. One minute to Beautiful. go Beautiful. Okay, we've got some uh, crostini <laughs> that you were speaking about. Super easy, yes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll take the yellow plate here. Okay. This is as easy as, as it gets. I went ahead and bought just a small baguette. Um, I went over to Pokerville and did my shopping last night. And so what I did is I sliced it thinly. You can make this very simple, which I'm going to do, or you can make it a little more gourmet. Um, the easiest part the easiest part here is just going to be like this. We will take, this is cream cheese and horseradish, half a block of cream cheese, tablespoon of horseradish. Put a little more if you like. I like it spicy. And then we're going to use just deli sliced roast beef. Now, roast, I love roast beef. And we're just going to kind of pile it on like that. Nothing too, too heavy. And a couple of green onions. I love ground pepper on everything. Just a little squeeze there. There we go. And there we have it. Okay, Monique, thanks for coming in the studio this morning. It's a pleasure. Giving everybody a great uh, ideas for those holiday appetizers. Hey, and it took me 20 minutes this morning to prep everything. Okay. It was that quick. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. We're going to switch pleasure. over. Susie Miller.